My name is Andrew Lindsay, and I work for HyDrive Technologies. I'm the VP of Engineering and Technology Development here. We developed a hydrogen generating system, also known as the HGS, which injects small amounts of hydrogen into the intake manifold of a diesel engine to reduce the emissions output and increase the fuel economy of the vehicle. It increases the efficiency of the, uh, of the burn process. Typically, a uh, truck going up a hill, you'll see him depress the throttle and you'll get a lot of black smoke coming out of the stack. That's actually unburned fuel. So what we're trying to do is maximize fuel usage by creating less soot or unburned fuel and uh, putting that into uh, traction power into the road. The hydrogen acts as a catalyst to the burn process and uh, therefore allows us to draw more energy out of the diesel uh, during the burn. The integrated management module will sense the operating environmental conditions of the engine and adapt accordingly to ensure we get maximum benefits from the system. To ensure that we have very good reliability in our product, we've done a lot of testing with environmental chambers. This will be temperature, uh, vibration, salt spray, um, sand, dust and gravel bombardment. Um, we've done all of these tests on the product to ensure that what it's going to see in the environment on the trucks it's going to survive. The environmental testing chambers, we've purchased these to ensure that our product is going to be reliable when we put it out into the field. 100% of our products are tested right now from minus 40 Celsius, which is minus 40 Fahrenheit, through 50 degrees Celsius, which is around, roughly 120 degrees Fahrenheit. What this does is weeds out infant mortality. So, you know, if we have a unit that is going to fail, it's going to fail within the first 24 hour period that we have it running. We'll be able to catch all those in house before they ever make it to the field. Vibration from the road is, is actually quite severe to any application on a truck. And uh, we understood that we needed to test our product uh, in extreme vibration conditions to ensure it's going to survive. So we actually have a vibration table in-house that will output 6,000 pounds force of energy. What this means is when we actually mount our unit to the vibration table, we are actually vibrating it to the same frequencies and amplitudes that are seen on the road by trucks. What can go wrong with the HGS? Well, we've designed it with minimal moving parts, redundant safety systems, and also integrated many features to absorb any vibration or shock from the vehicle. Although reliability is important, safety is critical to high drive. We've integrated a redundant safety system into every HGS. It's very costly to us, but it ensures that we have a reliable and safe product. The redundant safety system incorporates two hydrogen sensors, two pressure sensors, and a pressure relief valve to ensure that the system will be reliable and safe under all conditions. The HGS is designed to uh, run off the charging system of the vehicle. We only draw up to 350 watts in extreme cases when it's minus 40 out as we need to provide a certain amount of heat to certain components to ensure that we have this unit uh, operational at that temperature. Under standard conditions, it'll draw somewhere around 200 watts, likely equivalent to um, you know, having your headlights on or maybe your high beams on. The HTS is equipped with various heaters to allow it to operate at minus 40. A good example of these heaters would be on the LCD display that you have. Uh, the LCD needs to be heated at minus 40 so as you can still read it, as it is a crystal display and it has a liquid in it. The heated gas line is unique because uh, it's, a very, it's a very smart system. Um, the heating cable itself is specially developed for our application on uh, this voltage, uh, basically you know, the battery voltage of the truck. And uh, what happens is it only demands heat as it's required. So the colder it gets, the more current it will start to draw, and only for each section as well. So if there's one section that's really cold, it'll draw more heat than a section that's already warm. When the truck is shut off at nighttime or at a service station, the uh, HGS will wait a certain amount of time before it goes to sleep. And when it goes to sleep, essentially it draws almost no current at all. We've integrated Bluetooth connectivity to the HGS, so the fleet or the independent operator can view or monitor how the HGS system is doing. What this allows them to do is walk by the unit, download the data, check and make sure that it's been operating properly uh, as they would expect it to be um, during its life on the truck. The operator will only have to fill the unit every 45 to 50 hours with two liters of distilled water. This system is actually semi-automated, so essentially he plugs in the hose, puts it into his container, and it will draw the water in automatically. The system will stop the refill when it's full. There's no chance of overfilling it. 
Over the last few years, we've been doing a lot of design work to ensure the reliability of this product is going to be top notch. I'm Glenn Wonder from Glenn Wonder Trucking in Peterborough, Ontario. We're in transportation for construction, any form of transportation for the construction industry. We have tandem dump trucks, trioxal dump trucks, trioxal trucks with tandem and trioxal ponies behind them. We have tractor trailers with ejector trailers, live bottom trailers, and flatbeds and floats for heavy equipment. We have six HGS units since 2004, and we have two of the newer units put on in the fall of 2009. The ones that we're running now is on a Caterpillar 475 C15 and the other one's a 380 horse C12 cat. We had a unit with the HGS on it and it had engine problems and it was in for warranty. They actually called back to see what we were doing to have the internal engine so clean that they tore down new engines that weren't that clean and it was uh, had to have been from the HDS. There was no other reason for it. I was out the other day with the truck and the driver with the HDS. I was following them up the road and we were going up a long grade, which was two or three miles long, and he just started leaving me. And we were loaded the same weight, same basically the same trucks. I dropped a full gear and a half and he was long gone over the hill ahead of me. On the tractor trailer that's on right now, prior to putting it on, it was anywhere in the fours, and it's always in the fives now. The other day when we were out together, there was 52 liters of fuel less that he burnt than I did. Same truck, same job, same miles, same weights. That particular day there would equate to approximately $45 savings in fuel for that day. I'm Dave Tom Chishan. I work for Curtis Auto Records Limited. I've been here for 26 years. I drive tractor trailer for them. It's a 2006 Western Star, 475 cat engine, 18-speed transmission, heavy spec truck, 20,000 front, 46,000 rear ends. We haul garbage, uh, recyclables, wood chips, composting materials, pretty much anything bulk. I was involved in a test with high drive the HDS unit was placed on my truck. Uh, we ran from uh, Oshawa to Gatineau, Quebec. We tested with the unit on and we tested with the unit off for different C and fuel mileage. We all fueled at a specific spot and we all left from the same spot. We'd pull up, we'd fuel the tanks to a certain level. They'd test them for temperature, both sides. We'd check mileage when, when we left in the morning and the mileage at the end of the day. On the average, I had a 13.5 miles per gallon improvement. I don't find it any difference uh, in the cold weather or the or warm weather. I find there's a little bit more power on the hills and fuel mileage is still about the same. I've driven this truck since brand new and it's got almost 700,000 kilometers on it now. So I know when it's make it, making a difference and I find that it pulls better anyway. I fill the unit myself with distilled water. I usually do it when uh, every day when I fuel my truck. With the high drive on there, we put them on there to, for fuel mileage, so the idea is to keep it filled up and running so you're getting your fuel mileage there. That's the whole idea of it. <laughs>